don't give it to you. What? Fuck, wait for you to get it on your own. X go deliver to Deadpool is a superhero film done right. It's done right. Take numbers. Take notes, everybody. Deadpool is a superhero film that was made for the fans, by the fans. It is a movie that the internet demanded. When the when the test footage was released, nobody thought Deadpool was going to be a feature film done by Fox. And even when it was announced, there was a huge battle for the, for the rating of the movie. Would it be PG-13 or would it be rated R? And so many people, so many... Um, executives in Hollywood said an R-rated movie can't make the type of money a PG-13 movie can make. But you know what? It's not all about making money sometimes. It's about faithfully adapting the character. Deadpool is an R-rated character. The movie could not have been done without an R rating. They already tried it in X-Men Origins. And, you know, the rating wasn't the biggest problem with that movie. They just completely fucked up the character. And it's, it's become a running joke. But with this new movie, with this new adaption of the character Deadpool, it is probably the most faithful adaption of a comic book character of all time. Um, Deadpool was created in the 1990s, and he's known for being a fast-talking, quote-unquote, merc with a mouth. Um, so without the R rating, this character really wouldn't work. He's known for breaking the fourth wall. He's, he's known for make, making dick jokes, for uh, making sex jokes. For making, you know, pushing pushing the envelope in terms of edgy jokes. He's a very blue character, even though he wears red and black. He has a great supporting cast in this movie, with an X-Men favorite, Colossus, actually being faithfully adapted as well as Deadpool. And the superhero that stole the show, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, who is just so cool. Even though the official genre for Deadpool is superhero film, it's not a superhero film. It's a comedy. It's a black comedy it's a black romantic comedy and even though a lot of people well in hollywood were saying an r-rated film can't make money like a pg-13 film deadpool still looks like it's going to be on pace to be the highest grossing r-rated movie of all time can you guys guess what's number one no passion of the christ yeah which proves that superhero films can gross a lot of money and somehow passion of the christ is a lot more violent than Deadpool? I mean, if Deadpool can pass that, Deadpool officially has more followers than Jesus Christ. Um, but what makes the film so good, other than the script, the script is, is very witty throughout. Even though I feel there's a more quantity of jokes, not necessarily a quality of jokes, it doesn't mean the movie's not funny. But there's not that many great jokes that stick with you after you see the film. It's more of a, it's got legs in terms of its script. The script is funny throughout. There's not a lot of great punches in terms of the jokes. But Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, without the casting of Ryan Reynolds, I can't imagine anybody on Earth playing this character besides Ryan Reynolds. And Deadpool even mentions how much he resembles Ryan Reynolds in one of the comics. Um, but it's, you know, it's a very predictable film. You understand what's going to happen, even though I think for the... F not the casual fan will say... Wow, this is different than the than the normal superhero film. There's a non-linear script. Uh, a lot a lot of the movie is just compacted and condensed into uh, a, a one a couple of days, really. I mean, the majority of the film takes place on that bridge from the test footage. The villain is good. The villain makes you hate him. The villain makes you want to see the hero or the anti-hero kill him, defeat him, and eventually win back his his girlfriend. Um, but the villain, I mean, it's something that we've seen before. I think if you compare that villain to a lot of the villains in the MCU, he's probably a, a tier better. But I, I still think Marvel is struggling with their villains. They really need to step that up. Um, there's a great use of practical effects. The action sequences are fantastic. The hand-to-hand -hand combat, the close-quarter combat... Uh, the use of slow motion, the use of blood, really putting that R rating to use. Um, you see Deadpool flipping around, shooting people in the head, sawing off his arm like James Franco. And it's just extremely faithful to the comics. This is a Deadpool movie. This is not a superhero movie that takes one of the characters from Marvel or DC and really tries to, you know, stretch the limits of what they can interpretate from the comics. This is... This man, Ryan Reynolds, was ripped from the comics and placed in the Deadpool universe. 
Um, and I think this movie sets a great precedent moving forward for R-rated movies. You already see Wolverine 3 might get an R rating, even though I'm not sure how you could do Old Man Logan without so many of the Marvel characters that are in that comic. But they're talking about an X-Force R rated movie. Possibly maybe even DC will take a page from what Deadpool did and make some of their uh, comics R rated. Even though Watchmen wasn't the box office smash that Deadpool was, I think if you were to release Watchmen in this climate, Watchmen would have made about $400, $500 million. And DC has so many other properties that they can adapt with an R rating. So I think it sets a great precedent. Um, but overall, for Deadpool as a movie, I would rate this movie a 8 out of 10. It's a really good film. I think it's a, you know, it's a, it's a hair short of being a great film. And I think the sequels, the, uh, the team-up movies... These are the movies that are really going to be explored with the R rating because we have proof that if you do a good movie with an R rating, you can make a lot of money. But if you make a great movie, if you make a masterpiece, I think an R rated movie could make over a billion dollars. So Deadpool, I mean, if you haven't seen it, go see it. What, what the fuck are you doing?